Bueno, ¿qué? Vemos ya el de esto, que el anuncio. Veo que hay bastante hype por el anuncio, gente. Cuidado, ¿eh? Ojo, ese, ¿eh? mil personas en, en YouTube viéndolo, cuidado. Estamos viendo, estamos viendo el anuncio de Falgais Creativo. ¡Eh, que empieza! ¡Se viene! Volumen, volumen. Bueno, está muy fuerte esto. Ojo. No creo que se vea la, los mapas de la temporada nueva, ¿no? Yo creo que es solo creativo esto, ¿o qué? A lo mejor está acá en el trailer de la temporada también, ¿eh? No lo sé. No tengo ni idea. Vale, esto es creativo. Hello and welcome here to the Fall Guys HQ. I'm Leah Alexandra and today we're getting into all things creative because drum roll please. Fall Guys Creative is launching on the 10th of May. Yes. <laughs> With the launch just around the corner, we thought today we'd dig into all the juicy... tan rápido que me he quedado en shock, la verdad. Vale, han confirmado día. Día 10 de mayo sale el creativo. That's right. We have some of the sites to plan for 2023 and beyond. And today, we're going to take a sneak peek and meet the people who are making it happen. So, vale, básicamente que van a enseñar un avance de lo que es el creativo. Vale. Hello Joe and welcome to the beautiful Fall Guys HQ library. Now you are here to talk about creative. Ojo, la saca miseta del tío. Eh? A few questions about the direction the game has been going. So, a salir de fiesta, digo lo cura. Yeah, so um, it's been a long time in development the, the new season update and uh, I think we want to mention that that's something that's going to continue over the course of the year. We're looking to make some big changes Buenas. to Fall Guys and that means that seasons are going to get slightly longer to give us the time to kind of make these big changes, but um, there's going to be big additions happening during a season as well. So you aren't going to get those long droughts of content that we've maybe had in the past. Um, <laughs> it's worth talking about vaulting as well. It's always a, a hot topic with our community. Um, that's something that's going to continue as we go into the new season. Uh, old rounds are coming back. Some of them are going into the vault. Uh, but it's worth mentioning that these Toda things are really de vuelta, dicho. dev team. It's allowing us to really focus on the launch of the new season of Creative, which is yeah, a big change to the game. So, Creative sounds like no small task. It must have been pretty Buena difficult noticia. to implement such a huge part of the game. So, I mean, how was that for you? Yeah, it's been uh, the single biggest change that we've ever made to the game. And it's it's really exciting to finally give players like the keys to the kingdom, basically. Like, we're finally going to see the types of rounds that people uh, want to make, like crazy ideas that we could have never thought of as developers. Uh, and this is kind of only the start of it as well. Like, the creative that we launched with season four is just the beginning. We're going to be adding new obstacles, new round types, new themes to creative as well. Um, yeah, it's all going to keep growing uh, as we continue to support Fall Guys over there. A ver, estás diciendo que la cuarta temporada va a ser como un comienzo para algo nuevo para Fall Guys, que van a añadir muchas más cosas a partir de ahora. Eso han dicho. Um, but I mean, how is that going to shape the future of Fall Guys, do you think? Yeah, so one of the main changes is that from now on, uh, the dev team at Mediatonic are going to be using the creative tools to build levels for the game exclusively. That vale. means that we can launch more content than we ever have before. Uh, with the launch of Season 4, we're going to be dropping um, over 50 rounds throughout the course of the season, which is way more than we've ever managed before. Um, another thing which is also really helpful is that for the first time we can start tweaking the levels over the air so we won't need to push new updates live to fix bugs which is again a, like a big problem we've always had with the game um, so all of these things are just going to make the content so much richer and so much more varied uh, from this point forward really and not to understate it because that is really really cool the players are going to be using the same bueno, tools that the devs are using esto. and you know getting a little taste dicen que van a añadir como 50 rondas más que supongo que serán variaciones y tal y que van a ir actualizándolas los bugs y tal cuando vayan saliendo you'll get a share code and you can then share that code with your friends uh, and you can fire that up in a uh, custom lobby uh, with your friends or on your own if you just want to play other people's rounds solo that's totally fine as well se pueden uh, jugar solo o con amigos con un código well, igual que so Fortnite básicamente los mapas live uh, a side show of all the best content from the community uh, and you might even get your round into main show uh, we're also going to be adding and improving the discoverability stuff so hopefully in the future it'll just get even easier for you to find the types of rounds that you want to play con esta gafa parezco so, listo, tío. Parezco el, um, el, el emoji este de las gafas con el dedo así. 
Is this season any different? Season 4 <laughs> is launching with a digital theme. It's sort of a pastely uh, vaporwave. Vale, temporada 4, tema digital. With a bunch of really cool retro digital costumes. Uh, and a new option eh, skins a retros as well, which is sort of a hybrid What? between uh, a punch eh. glove and one of the lily pads as well. So, uh, so esta la temporada nueva. All of this stuff is going into creative on day one for you to start making levels with. Well, the boom blaster sounds like it's going to be fun and absolutely infuriating. So I cannot wait to get hands on with that and build with it as well from day one, which is very exciting. Are there any other little changes in the season we can get a sneak peek of? Yeah, there's a whole bunch more stuff. Um, the show selector is getting like a fresh coat of paint. So you'll be able to now have fumana. way more stuff live through the show selector, uh, kind of creative rounds, other stuff. Um, also, body blocking is something that we know the community has been doing for a long time. So we've taken a look at the code there and we're kind of changing. Salen the way como mapas de gente que han que, o sea, so salen como los mejores more, mapas en la búsqueda para que la gente los juegue. Uh, finally, we're going to be changing the way uh, season passes uh, work. Season passes are going away and we're replacing them with the short fame man? pass. So you're going to have multiple fame passes each season. Aquí está en español los títulos son son imbéciles. Shorter, more bite no size, 40 tiers to each one. Uh, and they're going to cost 600 show bucks, so they're going to be cheaper. This is going to allow players ¿Cómo, to ¿cómo? Hay feel good about completing their things in a more bite-sized way, which kind of matches the way that people tend to play Fall Guys. Um, but they're still going to be full of amazing costumes, Ay, no me gusta costumes nada and esto, collaboration tío. costumes as well. Um, so yeah, really excited to launch that with Season 4 as well. No. Thank you so much, Jared. I cannot wait to dive in. And we actually have a sneak peek of the first Fame Pass right now. Check it out. Bueno, en verdad sí, en verdad es bueno, en verdad. <laughs> Hostia, ¿esto es la temporada nueva? ¿O qué es esto? Ah, las skins. ¿Pero por qué? ¿Por qué son cuadrados? Van a sacar todas las skins que han, que han sacado hasta ahora. Versión cuadrada. Bravo. Me, me levanto, tío. What did I tell you? We've only just started the show and already we know that next season your four guys will step into the digital realm. Creators will be able to work with the same tools as the development team. We're dropping 50 new rounds throughout the season. Saldrán 50 nuevas rondas en la temporada? Today's reveal is about temporada the año, exploration of creative. So let's do just that and jump on over to the Mediatonic studio. And the team there are going to walk us through how you go about creating a new round. Vale, se viene Everyone, creativo, I'm Adina. Eh? And I'm Max. And today we're going to show you creative and build a round together. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. So from the get-go, we Ole. have the new creative tab where you can now create new rounds and load previous rounds. But we're going to start a new round, yeah, so we're going to go straight go. into that. From the beginning, you can immediately see it's going to ask you what mode you want to make. Uh, for now, we're just going to build a race. There will be more coming at, uh, eventually, but for now, we're just going to build a race. And the same with the theming, so you can change the sort of theming of your race or other modes as we bring them in. So we're going to go for original. Just a bit of a disclaimer here. Remember that this is a dev build yes. and there could be some slight changes uh, on release. From the get-go, you're going to be greeted with a whole new UI that you're probably not used to seeing when playing Fall Guys. First thing you're going to want to take a, uh, <laughs> you're going to want to acknowledge is that in the top left, there's a checklist. Uh, so you're going to need a start line and a finish line for a race. You'll also see that you can vale. uh, <laughs> move <laughs> the cursor around. Veréis una nueva, veréis una nueva and, imagen and que, parece, que, que, que no parece Fall Guys. And vale. we've got our start line here. Here to get us started. A few things that when you're going to start building this round out is we've got our objects list when you press right on the d-pad. Immediately you're greeted with a whole bunch of icons that might not immediately make sense so let's walk through it a little. Let's go. So we have our platforms tab which is just our static geometry, blocks and barriers which are good little static bits of geometry that aren't quite floors and walls but rather small little obstacles. Well, we have our moving surfaces. We have obstacles, which you'll all know and recognize, things like our pendulums and our cannons, and our little bits of decoration, which uh, sort of add a little bit of flavor to your rounds. Um, Vemos que hay un máximo de mil. Kind of hay límite de objetos. A ver, claro, obviamente tienen que hacerlo. Si no, claro. That affects your budget in the top right. Once you reach the end of that budget, you're not allowed to build anything else. For that reason, it's good to no build sé, pocos, get the basic gameplay concepts. El límite seguramente por Switch. Sí, puede ser. 
Hay que pagar por objeto, no hay que pagar nada. No como que no pagar. Ese es lo que vale, o sea, es lo que ocupa en el mapa, no tienes que pagar nada. Ah, tienes mil herramientas para crear un mapa. ¿Ah? Mil cosas de esas. Es que era barbudo. Ya no podrías hacerme la broma de, mira, es que tiene gafas. Ya no tengo gafas. Ahora tendréis que buscar a otra persona que se parezca a mí. He matado un meme, sí. Qué guapo. Eso mola. Uf, cómo me gusta esto. Ya es el primer minijuego que voy a hacer con su. Solo con esta. Me acaban de dar ya como la, la idea. Está guapísimo, me gusta. Yeah, let's give it a little test. So we can come on in, you can press the button on the controller that stays at the top. Yeah. And you can just dive in and it will any time yeah. of the process. It will put you where you select your cursor so you can test from anywhere in your round. So we can see that that works. Copy this, do That's the same okay. thing. Yeah. Third row of it. And that's what's really fun also with creative is me, me están copiando la idea de mi minijuego, tío. Them, try to experience, experiment with them. El loco dije que quería hacer de minijuego. Exactly. So we're gonna copy some esto lo hice en Fortnite, esto. Es un fue uno de los minijuegos que hice en Fortnite, que era básicamente un camino, o sea, era un tres pasillos. Y cada vez que llegabas a un punto, tenías que elegir una de las tres puertas, ¿sabes? Perfecto. Va a estar muy guapo cuando la gente cree que wow, es que va a ser una locura. Y parece súper fácil de crear un mapa, ¿sabes? Está creando el mapa súper rápido. ¿no? Un K para de ser bastante. ¿eh? Hombre, lleva... 270 Sí, supongo que se po será depende del objeto que pongan ¿no? Un rodillo ocupa 50 Ya ves But if you want something a little more chaotic, you can just put a little delay on them. Perfect. And then I'm thinking you get a checkpoint in there. Yeah, a little checkpoint after that section would be perfect. Do the same thing. Actually, we can just copy this one. Está guapo el mapa y todo. You know what? Saves time. And the exact same size as we need as well, so perfect. So now that we've got this uh, this checkpoint, and I did the previous section, what are you thinking we should do yeah, next one? Yeah, so I was thinking that we could add a little bit of Verticality again to the level, nivel, ya que hemos ido bajando. Como ¿Cómo si no estuviese hablado de antes, ¿sabes? Lo, lo que tienen que hacer. Let's put a little drum on 
A little, little uh, Lily's inspiration. Yeah, a little Lily oh. inspiration to the oh, level. Now, now the drums are a bit tall, so I think we might need to add. Do you need a ramp? Yeah. Lily Leaper, okay. As I said, we're like every though. object these are customizable, so we kind of need the height here, so we're going to need to change the settings. We're going to need a larger slope. Maybe let's make it a bit shorter and then change the color. Give it a yeah, little, make to it make pop it out a little. Yeah, to make a difference as well from the floor. So let's get that in there. Extend this out by one. There we go. A nice little ramp up to awesome. our drums. Now, after the drums, you can put little blocks, you yeah. know, to have a little platform to land on. So, mil para poder que creen mapas, creo que será mucho o poco. Bueno, a ver, obviamente, la gente que esté más loca. Mil les será poquísimo, ¿no? La gente que cree mapas así muy bestias. Challenges. Um, I was thinking for the left one, we could go with this fan, yeah? Yeah, over yeah, there. yeah, Okay, so let's get these fans in. You can see that when I try and place the object, it goes red. This is because the object itself is probably going to collide with the other object. Let's change their settings Yeah, change the bit. settings, yeah. Anti-clockwise. Yeah. Normal as well. Give it a little bit of a delay, maybe. Yeah. Okay. And this one clockwise but and fast. fast. Yeah, with a little more. <laughs> um, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> and then, what do you want for? What do you think for the other side? Um, maybe we'll we'll go with the, 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 the rotating. Se va a hacer super. Ya ves, cien por cien. I'm already there. Cien por cien, cien por cien. Same thing cien. the other side. So immediately we can go in, play this, check this out. It's always worthwhile if you're going to build a, a split path round. You want to make sure that both sides are yep. achievable. Would you look at this? I'm awful at these, but oh. <laughs> well, you're doing great for someone who's <laughs> awful at them. And let's check the other side. Oh, really good vibes here. I'm feeling it. It's fine. We're all good. Brilliant. Now we need to bring these in line. Hombre, llevan 500 y llevan bastante puesto, eh. Y mira que están haciendo como un mapa tipo doble, ¿sabes? Rollo, doble mapa. Si solo se hace una línea, un mapa de una persona, se puede ser gigante esto. Por lo que, por lo que he entendido... Yeah. Por lo que he entendido, yeah. la... Some... Los slime pases more. de temporada And van a haber tres yeah. y van a ser so de cada uno around. de 60 niveles. Y creo que se irán activando mientras vaya... Esto me gusta y no me gusta a la vez, es raro. Porque... Básicamente vas a poder... Qué guapo. O sea, cómo mola. ¿Qué sentido tiene? Hombre, pues... Que la gente no se va a hacer los 200 niveles nada más empezar la temporada y obligan a la gente para hacerse todos los niveles a jugar todos los meses de la temporada. Yeah, that right We now need to go through and publish, publish. this. So what you want to do when you're when you're ready, you're going to press the uh, start button. Or the start button. Ya tardado nada, o sea, rollo 15 minutos ha tardado en hacer el mapa. That will just automatically save the the round and also generic settings so that you can adjust that later. It just makes sure you don't lose any progress while you're building things. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna hit the publish flow. Yeah, let's go. So let's go. Gives a little intro. Camera. Qué guapo, se ve hasta la una cinemática y todo. Qué guay. We wanted to make sure that you've got your own little intro camera. All right, so let's see if we can uh, play this. Now, oh. Oh. Yeah. So you can see because we changed the open door. Pero puedes saltar, uh, puedes saltar por delante y saltarse right? todo esto, ¿no? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm awful at this. Oh, I'm awful. O a lo mejor tiene hitbox por las puertas, the por arriba puede ser. To the past of to the past of most resistance here. <laughs> Something to take in mind when you're building these out is that depending on how, the amount of players you're building, you want to make sure there's space sí. for players to get through. So whilst it may seem fairly easy on your own, it's probably going to be a bit harder when more players are going players, through. Yeah. Yeah. Tiene que poner muros o algo, claro. <laughs> no fails yet. Yes. Right. Yet. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> 
Oh, hmm. You know, yeah. we should have done. We should have changed we the pendulum done, times. Yeah, little delays. But that's the thing. You can change the flavor to however you want it to, and you know. Oh. And I should have jumped. Okay, I'll make sure I jump but this time. Yeah, this time, do not forget to jump. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm, ugh, I'm you just bad at that. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, nice. all right. We got there. We got there. So now that like we've done the test complete, and we ah, can now para publicar el mapa. So we can uh, either cancel it. Tienes que pasártelo. Changes, like the round that you made. Um, eso mola, eso. Porque si crean un mapa muy difícil... Si crean un mapa muy difícil, ahí está el código. Eso está guay. Claro, para que sea posible pasárselo, claro. Sí, espero que este pequeño round te dio una idea de lo que puede hacer. And yeah, it's all about build your round, play it, and share it with your friends and the community. Está bueno, está bien eso. Excited to see what you guys can come up with and what you're gonna build, and yeah, we're looking forward to play what you're gonna make. Me encanta porque el gorro del tío pone número uno creative. Número uno creative person. Catch you later. See you in another video. Bye. Build, play. Vale. Oye, ¿y el trailer de la temporada? Rollo los mapas nuevos y tal. But we'll also be adding more round types, themes, obstacles, and music in future updates. Whew. So, now you've heard all that, I think you're probably ready to jump in and start building. And we've got a few tips to help give you a boost. Firstly, make sure you're a member of the Fall Guys Discord server where you'll be able to share your creations using your round share code. Next, if you're looking for some point vale. of inspiration, then keep an eye out for our brand new YouTube series. Finally, the Mediatonic team will be roaming through their favorite creations to add to specially constructed creator round playlists, and they will be in the live shows tab. Now, who's your favorite Fall Guys character? La bala, la bala, la bala. La bala. La bala, la bala, la bala, la bala. Personally, I'm rather partial to banana. La bala. Well, we're lucky enough to be joined by the writer Murray Lewis, who's going to take us on a deep dive into the world of Fall Guys lore. Hello, Murray, and welcome to the library. We are surrounded by, if you have an eagle eye, you'll notice some of the characters here who do actually have quite a part to play in the story, the narrative of Fall Guys. So as I'm introducing you to this library, why don't you tell us how you've introduced a narrative to Fall Guys and what that's been like? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun, you know, finding ways to introduce new characters, new stories to that world. It's, it's very vibrant, it's very... Están hablando sobre el modo historia de Fall Guys. Sobre la el lore. Tell stories with. That's the sentence you ever expected you'd be saying. Then the sky's the limit when you've got like such a insane open concept universe, right, as Fall Guys. But there are some main characters at the moment. So why don't you tell us about who they are? Yeah. So going all the way back to the beginning. Están hablando sobre el lore de la historia. We've always had Pink, who is our kind of every bean, and also introduced. Slightly later, but uh, has been around again for a long time, is Clovis, who is uh, Pink's. Clovis, best vale, um, un grande they Clovis. They are an engineer. And then we start to introduce more narrative focused characters like Silent. Um, ah, ya sé quién dice. A showrunner. They do their best to just create the best shows that they possibly can, but they also have this fascination with the world of Fall Guys and trying to find out a bit more about the history of, of the world that they're in, and then they're helped by. Banana, plátano. Who's the assistant uh, showrunner. Pero si no, si no es un plátano, um, porque si es un plátano. More recently, we've started to introduce characters like Hype Bean, who you would have seen in the trailer for Free for All. Uh, they, they're kind of a, a celebrity in the world of Fall Guys in the Blunder Dome. And then we've also got Stash and Sally, mm -hmm. who you would have seen at the end of that trailer, and, and also we brought them into the, the following season. O sea, después de, sabéis que de, después de este video no voy a acordar de ningún nombre de nadie. Work with Silent. Big cast so far. I mean, is that going to continue to expand, or are you done? <laughs> no, absolutely. We've got lots of uh, upcoming new characters. We would have seen King Poseidon that we introduced uh, in this season in Sunken Secrets, um, recently emerged. And moving forwards into next season, I can now reveal um, a new character called Digi that we're ah. going to be introducing, who is also an engineer like Clovis. At the moment, she's currently missing. Um, so we're hoping to, <laughs> to, you know, 
what happened to Digi? Where has she been? What has she been up to? Yeah, that's a mystery. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, it's a bit of a mystery. Uh, the uninitiated, why don't you give us a recap of the main Borgo uh, stories? So 107 Ra, gracias por la Sun con Prime. Era todo un juego premium, let's go. Um, it's a few seasons Ocho. ago. We would have seen them. Juego premium es un juego de mínimo 8 euros, creo. The satellite, which became Steam. a satellite of, uh, of nice, the free-for-all nice. season. But they had a bit of an ulterior motive. So they weren't just doing it to, to broadcast the show. Disco que el juego the, de Steam. the universe. Oh. <laughs> uh, they also have this mysterious belt that they've been holding on to. And they don't know exactly mm -hmm. where it came from, but they know it's not from the Blunderdome. And they've been trying to work out where it came from. And so they sent this satellite up Buenas. in the hopes of finding out. But Stash and Sally, being Stash and Sally, uh, kind of messed it all up. And, uh, and it got to the point where Silent was like, you know what, I'm just going to go up there and do it myself. <laughs> and they started looking for this signal and they found a signal coming from the planet. But as they found it, something went wrong. And it got Silent stuck inside the machinery of the satellite. No! And, and Banana had to actually no! rescue, as you would have seen at the end of that season. That's why we love Banana. Always <laughs> <laughs> there to help out. No te creo. And, and pulling Silent out of that machinery kind of caused this, this energy. Pero se salvaron, dime que sí. Opened up one last big portal. No! And that no! became our, our way down uh, to the source of this signal that Silent found. Okay. And that was the lost city. When they got there, there was it seemed empty, but... Uh, y esta es la temporada. Oh, lo uh, que dice. Bean, we're just hiding, just, you know, waiting in the shadows, being like, do we trust these beans? We've never seen these beans before. Scoping out the newcomers. Yeah. <laughs> qué locura. No, they, qué, they qué locura, qué locura. Now and, and they're happy to make friends. So we've got to this point now. Y se hicieron amigos de Poseidón. Qué locura. Well, got a bit of a mystery to solve there. So where do we go from here? It's a good thing you asked. <laughs> um, we do actually have an event called Coin Quest. Uh, Busca de monedas. Can, uh, hopefully jump in and find out. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Murray. And right now we have a quick look at the teaser for Coin Quest. Ojo, nuevo evento, eh, que vendrá dentro de poco a Fall Guys. A ver. Pero si ya está Fall Guys. <laughs> Check out the coin quest and help Silent and the rest of the gang to prove their worth. Voy a ayudar a Silencioso. Well, there you have Me voy it. ahora mismo a ayudarlo. You need to know to get you ready for the big release on May the 10th. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hasta luego. Buena, buena, Wait. buena. I almost ah, forgot. Joder, I promised earlier that we were going to look at what else is planned for the future. And I don't break my promises. ¿Van a, ¿Qué van a enseñar? Cuidado, eh. Another warning before we dive in. These features are very much still in development. Esta función esto está en desarrollo. They could change drastically before ¿Qué es esto? release, or never even see the light of day Buenas. outside of the Mediatonic Studio. So you've been warned. ¿Qué Now es esto? we've got that out of the way. Let's head back over to Joe for some exclusive details. ¿Qué es esto? Bueno. Welcome back, Joe. We've dragged you back in because we want to talk about some experimental features. And they aren't a guarantee. I need to reiterate, need to make it clear. Not a guarantee, but still very exciting. To <laughs> ha dicho que a lo so, mejor no acaban llegando, lo que va a decir. Yeah, rollo. certainly scary. Um, we never really talked about features that were kind of early in development before. But uh, I think it's really important that we take an opportunity to kind of show our players our ambitions for the game over the next year. Oy, 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 oy. We want to do more and more with these silly little jelly beans that we have like we love them so much and i just think there are so many great ways that we can take this game and yeah once i have an opportunity to kind of peel behind the curtain a little bit and show what it's like to develop things earlier on in development so which features are you most excited about harps is a way to kind of inject kind of even crazier gameplay into four guys in a way that we haven't really been able to find a space for yet um so kind of allowing Fall Guys to do weird and wonderful things and giving players the control over like when they happen is <laughs> yeah. something that I think is really cool. Uh, and all of this would kind of be delivered through creative as well. So you could maybe put power-ups in your own levels and certain Ooh. places and things like that. So of course, again, you know, we have to say that these might not happen, they might happen, but 
Anything else you've conceived that? Uh, Por favor, que nunca salga eso. Yeah, there, I mean, there's other stuff that we've been playing around with over the past year, though. It's it's just fun to show demonstrations of, really. Por favor, que nunca salga esto. Which is basically, if you imagine co-op full guys, but ¿Qué with giant cojones un, 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 es esto? Okay, all right. Well, how does that work? You just start at the beginning, tethered to each other? Yeah, or? we've been playing it where you're you're tethered, and if you run kind of either side of a pillar, you both get pulled back. Oh my gosh. And, uh, <laughs> and you can kind of pull the other person up if they fall off the map. Uh, we've had lots of fun testing that, and it feels very promising. ¿Sabéis <laughs> la de Brooks? ¿Qué va a ver con esto, tío? Yeah, exactly. Y la de... Kind of Madre mía, es que no me lo... O sea, que, ¿por qué no salga nunca esto, por favor? No puede salir esto nunca. No en un competitivo, y pensamos que sería muy divertido ver qué puede ser co-op, por ejemplo. Otra cosa que hemos hecho, por ejemplo, es la role feature, que fue... Rodar. Adding new movement to the full guy. Oye, eso está guapo esto, fuera coñas, eh. So, what would it feel like if you could curl up into esto mola, esto. Hola, hola. Oh, 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 oh. Vale, esto me ha gustado, eso me ha gustado. Eso, eso me gusta. Eso me gusta, eso me gusta, eso me gusta, eso me gusta, eso me gusta. Eso sí, eso sí. Eso sí, eso sí, eso sí. Va con un martillo en la mano. Eso no, eso no me gusta. Eso no quiero. Obviamente, players can see just how far the game has come. It's it's come a very long way since its inception, but for you that must be even more wild. Yeah, I mean it's been an amazing ride. I think one thing we always want to do is to make it about one day, allowing players to make their own level. Todo lo que sea golpear a enemigo, a enemigo no me gusta. Son más motivos para que streamen snipers vengan a joderme, así que no, no quiero eso. Anybody can make a level. Like you just have to throw a couple of obstacles and a start and a finish line, and hope that this could be the opportunity for people who've maybe never tried their hand at game design before. But yeah, more generally, it's 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 been. A real ride. Uh, we haven't got everything right. You know, we've made mistakes over the course of development, and I kind of just wanted to take the opportunity to thank our players for for sticking with <laughs> us as we try and figure out the weird and wonderful world of Fall Guys. Why not? Uh, it's 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 been a real journey, and um, yeah, excited to take the game from creative beyond into kind of weird and wonderful directions over the next few years. Weird and wonderful, definitely the words I would use for it. <laughs> thank you so much, Joe, and thank you to all of you for watching at home. Remember, creative does come out on May the tenth. So dive in and have fun. We'll see you next time. Bye. Buenas. Eh, vale. Esto es modo creativo, full modo creativo esto. Sí, todos estos son mapas que eran por el creativo, yo creo. Que ya han hecho, supongo. Mm, está guapo, ¿eh? A ver, el creativo. Guay eh, Mola, o sea, mola porque es contenido infinito Realmente, o sea, en Fall Guys O sea, que haya mapas y que la gente cree mapas Mola porque, coño Nos podemos sacar eh, Puedo crear mapas yo y hacer torneos Para vosotros, o Incluso minijuegos para jugar con subs Y cosas así, eh, podéis hacer mapas Vosotros y Grabar vídeos Jugando mapas de suscriptores O sea, rollo, hay mucho contenido realmente O sea, el creativo está muy bien Lo de los pases de temporada de, nive de 60 niveles cada uno Hay una parte que me parece bien y otra mal Voy a poner full cam Parte que me parece bien Es una forma de que la gente No se haga el pase en un mes Y los cinco siguientes meses Ya no jueguen y se esperen a la siguiente temporada O sea, la gente se hará Un pase de 60 niveles El mes siguiente tendrá que volver al juego Para hacerse el otro pase que saldrá Y luego, creo que son tres pases, si no me equivoco Podemos tirar para atrás, sí, creo Mira, ¿veis cómo hay calendario? El pase 1 será eh, Pues de X fecha a X fecha y supongo que si no te lo haces Podrás seguir haciéndolo todavía Yo creo que esto está activo hasta que... No se ve Ah, vale, pues soy imbécil Hay tres pases de temporada Está el 1, el 2 y el 3 Imaginaos que la temporada sale el 10 de mayo Vale, pues a lo mejor este pase O sea, bueno, para que salga el 2 Hay que esperar al 10 de julio Y a partir del 10 de julio Tienes que jugar otros 60 niveles Para hacerte este pase Y luego el siguiente que el 10 de septiembre Por ejemplo, o el 10 de agosto O cuando sea Y a partir de ese día puedes hacerte otros 60 niveles Me gusta y no me gusta a la vez ¿Por qué? Es menos vicio, tío para cuando salga la temporada, ¿sabes? No sé cuánto va a durar el pase de 60 niveles, pero espero que bastante. Espero que dure tres semanas, eh, un mes, pero si dura solo un par de semanas o algo así, tendré que esperar un bastante a hacerme más niveles, ¿sabes? Y un poco pereza eso, pero bueno. Creo que cada pase cuesta... No sé cuánto ha dicho, pero vale menos ahora. 600. ¿Y cuánto valía antes eh, el pase? Si valía menos, ¿no? <risa> pero sí, si, ¿cómo? ¿Cómo que 600 cada uno? <risa> ¿Qué?
Por eso digo que yo creo que esto, la temporada va a durar bastante más que todas las temporadas anteriores, ¿eh? Mínimo medio año fácilmente de temporada tenemos. Porque han dicho también que van a sacar 50 mapas nuevos. O sea, yo creo que esto fácilmente mínimo medio año está. Mínimo. Yo creo que muere antes de la siguiente acto. Tenéis que tener en cuenta también que tendremos creativo, ¿sabes? Que el creativo también le dará mucho juego al, al Fall Guys. Resumen del, del directo. En verdad no, a ver, está bien, la verdad Vale, perdón, perdón, gente A ver, está bien, está bien, era, era broma, gente, era broma